Okay, hope you'll forgive me here. I just quickie set this up so I don't really have the full view in frame, uh, but this is enough to get the point across. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is go through with just my body hammer. And I cut this with a shear and I've got some rough edges. So All I really wanna do is get my edges flat. basically take down any of the curl that the um, handheld shear might have put in there. And that's just a little bit. It's not that big of a deal because when we put it in, we're going to fit it anyway. But here is the orientation of our piece. Um, over here is the arch where the, the uh, hump goes. This is the back of the vehicle. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna put a little line on here and uh, use my Sharpie indicator stuff. Okay, there we go. And what we're gonna do is basically just scribe a line a half inch up that we're then gonna line up with the edge of the bench and bend it. Um, this bench has a rounded edge to it versus a very tight 90 which I'd actually kind of prefer a little bit. Can always tighten it up if I want to, uh, but we're gonna go through and do this with, um, sorry, my cheapo calipers here that are messing up. Uh, we're gonna go through and do this, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I lost track of what I was saying here. But uh, we're just gonna put a half inch roll in here go. Good. So now we've got our line scribed and we're going to go through and put some steel on here just to clamp this, um, square it up and tap it down with a hammer. That's really all there is to it. So let me go ahead and get a couple pieces of metal to put down on here to hold it in place and I'll come back in just a second. And now if you notice, I'm not clamping this right at the line. The line is going to be the edge of the desk and the table, and I need some room to tap with the hammer. If I'm right up against here, you don't get any room to get the hammer in. And it makes it kind of hard to, uh, to roll that over. go and now all we needed was just something here so we can see uh, so this is going up against the edge of the table I'm going to line this up with the scribe line and just tap it in until we're in the right spot okay oh and that one's dead on good did pretty good with that one. and then we're just going to come through and little by little Roll this edge over. You don't want to go too fast with this because when you're doing this, if you go, if you do too big of a whack, it wrinkles the metal because you stretch it in between hammer marks and you put a wrinkle in it. So we want to go slow just to roll this edge.
And when I'm doing this, uh, the metal starts out flat this way. So as the metal rolls, I'm keeping the hammer uh, flat to the metal I, I want to move. I'm not continuing to do this because then we'd be using just the edge of the hammer and that would leave little circular gouges. So what we want to do is hit the metal flat and kind of in a glancing blow downhill. So. One of the things that is important to do when we're doing this, as that starts to roll over, our blow is going to get more perpendicular to the metal. So we want to be sure we're not driving this sheet forward. So every now and then just take your angle and just check and see if your scribe line is still lining up. That way you know you haven't slid the bottom sheet forward and you're still on target. Going. We're starting to wrap pretty well, so we're going to bring this around. There we go, and we are almost now 90 over, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to start more of the blows this way with a little bit less force. I got a little bit in the middle I still got to move. Okay, now that we're, we've rounded our corner, what I'm going to start doing is on the corner start tapping and going down as I go to bring that around the corner here. doing is I'm standing sideways to this so I can see down the edge to try and keep my angle a little more in line. I can see the high spots a little better. And now I'm fully rolled on this side. So what I'm doing is I'm tapping until I hear and feel the hammer against the table. That way I know I've got the edge fully rolled over against the edge of the table. I don't know if it comes through on camera, but here's a sound when I'm against the table and here's when I'm against metal that still has to fold. There, you hear when it gets sharp, you know that you fold it all the way over and you're 
here against the edge of the table. And really now I'm tapping and listening more than I am looking. Just to know that I'm fully seated. There we go. I'm going to do one more quick little check to see if our scribe line moved. Same place. Great. So go ahead and take these off. And look at our panel here. There we go. And hope you can see, that's not too bad. That's pretty straight. So what we're going to do is we're just going to flip it on the table and give it a few hits just to make sure that edge gets flattened out. this from both directions because all we want to do is get it flat. There we go. And that is pretty darn straight. Especially for something that's going to be underneath. But now we've got a great deal of rigidity in this panel as well. So there's a lot of strength put in by adding that corner. That came out really good, I'm happy with that. There we go. What a nice formed panel. We're gonna go over and we'll pop this back in the Jeep and start drawing out some more lines and figure out where this is actually going to fall in at.